Hi, my beautiful friends. What's up, guys? It's Eddie, and hope that you guys are all doing well today. Hopefully, your guys' week is going great. Um, I am currently sitting on the floor <laughs> of my bedroom because... Why not, right? <laughs> I'm not sure why anybody would care that I'm sitting on the floor, but apparently I feel like sharing that information with you guys. Um, I'm just gonna chat today basically in this video and hopefully you'll you'll stick around and um, hear about the things that I have to say, though they might not be the very um, they might not be very interesting to some of you. <laughs> but uh yeah, it is so freaking hot today, guys. California, what's going on? It's December, why are we still burning up? It is so hot today. Um so I have my nice cold water here. Um, so get comfortable, my friends. Um, so guys, um, I would really appreciate it if you guys sent your positive thoughts and energy my way. Um, I actually have a court date coming up next week, depending on when you're watching this. Um, but I have a court hearing on December 13th. Um, but do not worry, guys. I didn't break the law. <laughs> I'm not in trouble. It's not that type of court hearing. Um, but uh, I really want to win this court case. Um, if I don't win this case, like I said, I'm not getting in trouble in any sort of way. I didn't break the law, guys. Um, but if I don't win this case, it will basically mean that um, 2018 will have a lot more complications and obstacles for me to face. And uh, I just really, really want to win this case. So please send positive thoughts your ways, your ways, my way, guys. I would really appreciate the positive energy. Um, and the reason why I'm telling you guys this <laughs> is because um, you guys might not see me after this video until after the 13th, which is the court date. Um, so don't be alarmed if you don't see me for a couple of days, guys. For a couple of days, guys, I'm just you know gonna start practicing on my speech and my, you know, on my thoughts and what I'm gonna want to say at this court hearing. If you know me, then you know that I am a horrible speaker. I am so bad at expressing myself. So um, I do have to work on that for a little bit. So like I said, don't be alarmed if you guys don't see me for a few days. Um, but you'll definitely see me after the ter the thirteenth of December. So so don't you worry your pretty little minds. Um. And uh, yeah, I don't want to get into details of why I have a court hearing because it's a little bit on the personal side. But again, guys, don't worry. I'm not in trouble. I promise you I didn't do anything wrong, okay? Uh, but I just thought I'd let you guys know that information um, because I know some of you guys always ask me where I am when I don't upload when I'm supposed to. So, And I really appreciate it that you guys are thinking about me, but uh, I just thought I'd get that out of the way. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I'm already talking way too much, aren't I? Um... I also wanted to let you guys know that um, I had to, well I didn't have to, but I chose to delete my previous video that I uploaded like two days ago. Um, I woke up this morning and I saw that that video had close to 2,000 views and I was like, what the heck is going on? I I don't get that many views in two days, you know? I, I get like 200 views max, um, you know, in, in that amount of, of, in that amount of days. Um, so I was like, what's going on? And then I went on the video and I saw that I had so many disgusting hate comments and I was just like, what's going on? I had no idea what's going on, but apparently, um, uh, I found out by some of these nasty comments that, um, uh, my video somehow was featured in an autoplay playlist and somehow this weird, uh, weirdly, uh, my video ended up in a bunch of random people's playlists, which I have no idea how that happened. I think YouTube just probably had a little glitch or something. Um, I am a vertified YouTube partner, but I have no idea why they chose to feature this video. It's just really weird. Um, so, you know, obviously trolls came in and found this video. There were people that aren't familiar with the doll community, who, you know, people that aren't doll collectors. So as you can probably imagine, I got some very nasty, nasty comments. Uh, people were calling me some awful things. They were, you know, they were calling me a lot of homophobic names. You guys can probably imagine what these people had to say about my channel and my video. Um, and um, I chose to, 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 to delete this video. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Hate comments really do not get to me. You, the comments, the awful comments that I sometimes get on YouTube videos, they honestly do not bother me, guys. I have a very thick skin when it comes to the hateful YouTube comments that I get now. I am in no way saying, in no way saying that cyberbullying isn't real. If you're being cyberbullied, please, please report it. It's just, it's disgusting and it shouldn't be happening. Um, but like I said, um, I just have a thick skin when it comes to hate comments. Um, I just delete them or I just block these people, you know, and it doesn't get to me. Um, I think it's because before I even decided to, uh, you know, start making YouTube videos, I knew that I was gonna, you know, 
But I was I knew that I was going to be putting these videos into the internet where the entire world would be able to see them. And I knew that there was going to be some awful people on the internet. Um, so I think that's why, like I said, I have a thick skin when it comes to these comments. Uh, like I, I just, I basically prepared myself before I even uh, started to um, really uh, make videos. I'm talking too much, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, um, but the reason why I chose to delete this video is because I do not make videos for those people. I do not make videos just, you know, so that my video can get views. I don't make videos for hateful views. I make videos for you guys. I make videos for people that are in the doll community, for people that are interested in dolls, for doll enthusiasts. I make them for you, my beautiful friends. I do not make them for people to like make fun of or for all these people to just, you know, leave nasty comments so I do not need that ener that negative energy right now like I said I'm getting ready for my court date I need positive positive vibes um you feel me <laughs> so that's why I chose to delete this video if it was just you know two three comments that I was getting from random trolls then I would I would still have that video up but like I said it was getting thousands and hundreds of views like by the freaking minute guys I I was terrified so I I, I just I chose to take to take this video down um I still do have that video saved on my SD card if you guys want me to re-upload it I, I can re-upload it it was basically a video of me talking about um taking a break from doll from the doll hobby um you know giving my advice to people on to on on maybe taking a break like if they were having issues bonding with their doll collection um and I also talked about my new our generation doll um so if you guys want me to re-upload that I can re-upload that I don't mind um but like I said, I just I thought I'd give you guys an explanation why I took this video down, why I took that video down, in case there was any of you guys out there wondering what happened to that video. Um, but I do appreciate all of you that were able uh, that that got the chance to see that video when it was released a couple of days ago. I really appreciate it. So thank you for that. Um, so I also want to talk to you guys about something kind of. I don't want to say controversial because it's kind of just my opinion on it. Um, but I don't. Okay, so let me just go ahead and just get to the point um i don't know how many of you guys watch saturday night live um but saturday night live is basically a comedy show that is <laughs> the best way that i can describe this this tv series um and um it was brought to my attention that um this past weekend um saturday night live made a skit about um about a male adult doll collector. He was specifically an American girl doll collector. And um, I just have to say that I really wasn't impressed or found that skit to be funny. Um, here's the thing. How do I even put this <laughs> without sounding so dramatic? Um, I feel like you can you can view this, this comedy skit and see it in, in two ways. You can either be kind of bothered by it which is me and um you can also just see the humor in it but here's the thing it is sort of funny it's funny to a certain extent but um uh, how do i explain this guys it is, i thought i was just gonna come on here and i knew what i was gonna say but it's kind of hard to explain um so in this skit this actor who was portraying an, um, an adult american girl doll collector he's very sketchy he's kind of weird he's ashamed that you know people caught him at the american girl doll store and um had this been a skit about just how possessive we um doll collectors are i would have i would have seen the humor in that hey i am a doll collector and i am guilty of like being obsessed with um uh like you know being obsessed with how perfect my doll's hair is or being obsessed with how cute a certain outfit looks on my dolls you know hey i am sure that all us doll collectors we aren't ashamed of that we are guilty for that um but like i said had they focused on how crazy us doll collectors can be in that sort of sense in that type of crazy i would have found i would have found that super super funny but unfortunately they did what i feared that they were going to do and um I am not saying that Saturday Night Live's intentions were to hurt people or were to offend us doll collectors, but they really were misinformed and they were going with stereotypes. And unfortunately, they lost me the second there was a side comment in this uh, skit where a woman basically said that um, just because adult doll just because he's a man and an adult doll collector doesn't mean he's a predator. But she said it in this very sarcastic way, um, and I just thought that was freaking insulting. 
What does being a doll collector have to do with being a predator? That is disgusting. Why did they even say that? Like I said, um, they said it in a sarcastic way, but it was obvious that um, they were feeding into the idea that people do think that adult um, doll collectors are weird and not just male doll collectors but uh, but uh, doll collectors as a whole we already have so many people viewing us as weirdos and freaks and they don't understand that doll collecting is just like any other hobby it's just like collecting any other item you know dolls are a freaking art and I've always said that since the beginning of my YouTube channel um, you know when I first started making videos um, but like I said they were just feeding into these stereotypes and ideas um, that people see us as weird um, and like I said they should have just focused on making a skit where they refer to us as normal people and like I said um, not everybody finds this insulting I know in the comment section of that Saturday Night Live skit um, which you can find here on YouTube I won't link it because I don't want to give it any more attention but feel free to check that um, that video out you can find it on YouTube just search um, Saturday Night Live American Girl Dolls or something like that and it'll pop up and um there are a few like male doll collectors that make videos here on YouTube that I love and admire who left comments on that video saying that they thought it was funny. Uh, you know, everybody has the right to view it in the way that they want to, but I just think it's problematic. Honestly, we do not need these ideas to, you know, to be... Okay, so I don't know how to express myself now, <laughs> but what I mean is... um. I just don't think it was healthy or positive for them to, you know, to basically... Uh, agree with the idea that we're weirdos what the heck does being a doll collector have to do with being a freaking predator that is awful we are not predators we simply love dolls because they're beautiful and they're art i just i was so bummed out you guys and like i said feel free to check out the video it's here on youtube um you can watch it and then come back here and maybe give your your own opinion or your own look on it um maybe you guys might think that i'm overreacting but like i said i know that saturday night live wasn't trying to be hurtful or hateful but they didn't they didn't um um this that video could potentially hurt people and it's offensive and it's and it's problematic which is why i'm you know calling it out or whatever but i just wanted to give you guys my two senses on that because i don't think it's cool it's not funny Saturday Night Live, you messed up. It's just, it's not funny. And that's just my opinion. Um, but I do not want to end this on a on a, on a a sour note. I do want to show you guys the two dolls that I bought yesterday. I was at Kmart um, with my best friend. Hi, best friend. She doesn't watch my videos. I don't know why I just said hi, best friend. <laughs> um, but I finally found a Ken Fashionista that I've been looking for. What number is he? He is number 12. Chill and check. Um, I hate the fashionista names. They're so weird. Uh, <laughs> no offense. Uh, but here he is, guys. I have been looking for this guy everywhere. Uh, and I finally, randomly found him at Kmart, which was awesome. I am not the biggest fan of his outfit, but I love these fully figured curvy Ken dolls. I think it's so cool that, um, you know, not just uh, the female Barbies are being represented in all shapes and sizes, but now the male dolls are also being represented in different shapes and sizes, which is perfect and awesome and we need that in life and I also did get a second fashionista but this one I found at Walmart um this is a very generic looking Barbie fashionista doll you know she's a typical blue white blonde Barbie um but I you can never have too many Barbies okay <laughs> So I, I had to get her. She was only $7.99 at Walmart. If you're thinking of collecting fashionistas, start off by buying them at Walmart because they're totally way cheaper than buying them at Target or Toys R Us or Kmart. Um, so yeah, this is uh, number number 58. And like I said, I just I was in the mood to buy a very uh, generic blonde blue-eyed Barbie doll because like I said, you can never have too many. Um, it's weird. Her shoes look super, super tiny. Um, and she's not like a petite doll. She's a normal size Barbie. But um, yeah, I just I thought I thought they were I thought she was cute, and I was so happy that I ha that I found him at Kmart. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, I'm gonna let you go. I cannot believe I talked for like almost 14 minutes. Adios mio, that's crazy. Um, but if you watch this till the end, I love you so much, and I appreciate you. And uh, let me know what you guys thought of that Saturday Night Live thing um, situation. So like I said, my friends, I'll probably see you uh, after the 13th. I might even see you before that. Who knows? But I'm just letting you know where I'll be. Uh, okay, guys, I love you so much. Thank you guys for everything that you guys do for me. Hope you guys are excited for the holidays for those of you that celebrate. And uh, yeah, I have to go. I love you guys. Bye.